What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing. I just finished up watching Daniel Dubois versus Kevin Lorena. And this was a 12-rounder for the WBA Heavyweight World Championship. And this fight was Saturday, December 3rd from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London, England. And this fight was broadcasted on ESPN, ESPN Plus, or on the ESPN app. And in this fight, there was five knockdowns scored, and it was a heavyweight slugfest while it lasted, um, with Daniel Dubois ending up defending his WBA title, knocking out um, Kevin Lorena in the third round. So, like I said, this was a slugfest, multiple knockdowns scored. And just to re-off my scorecard, up until the stoppage, I had it 19-16 to in favor of Kevin Lorena leading up to the stoppage. So just to break it down, in the first round, Daniel Dubois literally in the first minute got caught with an overhand left from Kevin Lorena, and his legs were gone. Dubois was stumbling back into the ropes. Lorena went in to um, drop or even stop um, Dubois, but Dubois' legs were just gone, so he took a knee, and that was the first knockdown of the fight, and it was a big big knockdown for Kevin Lorena. Then Dubois got back up and his legs were gone. He was stumbling and bumbling away and Kevin Lorena went in trying to throw big combinations but Lorena didn't even have to land a punch and Dubois took a knee again because his legs were just gone and that was a smart move from Dubois because if he got hit who knows he could have got knocked out but he knew that his legs were all over the place so he took a knee and he stayed composed. He got back up from that second knockdown and then later on in the round again Dubois was just, his legs were just all over the place, and Lorena was able to land two left hands. Um, then Dubois took a knee again, so there was three knockdowns in the first round for Kevin Lorena, and it looked like Dubois was going to get knocked out. Then in round two, Dubois sort of listened to his coach, and his coach was telling him just to back up, to stay composed, to try not to engage, just try to counter him, and try and just outwork him on the outside. And that's what Dubois did in that second round. He stayed away from any of those shots from Lorena, and he was just outboxing um, Lorena, landed big right hands off the back foot, and it looked like Lorena was eating them well, um, and I thought that was a good second round for Dubois, but then in the third round, Lorena just, he wasn't doing enough, he was trying to come forward landing one big shot like he did in the first round, but Dubois just stayed composed with that boxing style like he showed in the second round, and he was just countering Lorena. Then, later on in the third round, Dubois landed a big right hand that dropped Lorena on the canvas, and Lorena looked really hurt. He got back up, and Dubois went in for the kill. Big right hands. Lorena was just getting hit with, wasn't defending himself good. His head was li literally getting knocked back all over the place. Um, and then they were up against the ropes. Dubois was landing massive, massive uppercuts on Lorena. Lorena was somehow standing up, but then literally in like the last two or three seconds of the round, Dubois landed a big combination followed by a big uppercut, I believe it was, unless it was a big um, wide hook from Dubois. But that big shot landed, and it sort of knocked Lorena back, um, dropped him into the ropes, and the referee waved it off literally right as the bell sounded, or even maybe a second later, right after it did. So, yeah, the referee stopped the fight right when the third round just ended, right when the bell sounded, when uh, Lorena got dropped. I mean, he wasn't defending himself good. I mean, if there was 10 seconds left, I would imagine... Or if there was a good amount of time left, I would have imagined that the referee would have stopped it. But, but just as the bell sounded, I mean, I don't know why the referee did stop it. I know Lorena was getting hit, but still, I mean, that's a that's really a tough question, honestly, because, yes, the bell did sound, and two, Lorena was hurt. So, I mean, who knows? I mean, that's really a tough call by the referee. Um, but, yeah, this was a very, very good comeback win for Daniel Dubois. Not comeback in terms of his last performance, but come back in terms of his performance in the first round of this fight. He got dropped three times and then battled back to drop Lorena twice, finishing him off, obviously. So, yeah, this was a very, very fun fight while it lasted only three rounds, but this goes into the question, what is next for Daniel Dubois? Now 19-1 and one with 18 KOs, defending his WBA title for the first time, actually. So, I mean, for Daniel Dubois, I mean, when it comes to high-ranked guys in the WBA, I mean, you see Michael Hunter up there, you see Huey Fury, um, and guys that like that level. Um, Robert Hellenius was high-ranked, but he got knocked out by Deontay Wilder. But, I mean, really, honestly, don't know what could be next for Daniel Dubois. I don't think he's going to get a world title shot uh, when it comes to, obviously, fighting either Fury or, or uh, Usyk. But, I mean, who knows? I mean, he could defend his title against someone... Ranked top ten in the WBA, top fifteen, maybe someone like Emmanuel Char, who is the champ, who or who was the former champion until he got stripped of the title. 
I mean, there's a lot of options for him. Um, I think the safest would probably be facing Manuel Char because he's an older guy. Um, wasn't really ever really that great, so I think that could be an easy solid win for Dubois. But I mean, if Dubois wants to take on a test, he could take on someone like a Hunter or a Fury. Uh, not a Tyson Fury, a Huey Fury, who could have a tough fight with his boxing style against Dubois. But nonetheless, I think Dubois has a lot of options. But as for Kevin Lorena, losing here for the second time in his career, I believe this is his first ever knockout loss. This was a tough loss for him because he had such a great start. And then he just was careless. I mean, he really was careless. He just came forward, wasn't really working on the defense that much. He would try just primarily working on that offense, but he got caught. And, it. I mean, he didn't survive. So... Yeah, I think that um, for him, he's going to go back to maybe South Africa, maybe just, yeah, I think he's going to go back to South Africa, get some very solid, easy wins at heavyweight, um, and I think he'll face some some solid veterans, some solid journeymen, getting some solid wins until he maybe gets called up for a very solid fight, a tough test maybe, something like that, just to build his credibility up and put him back up in the ranks to possibly get a title shot in the next few years. Uh, so overall, Daniel Dubois uh, weathers three knockdowns in the first round to knock out Kevin Lorena in the third round, scoring two knockdowns in total to retain his WBA regular heavyweight world title. And yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.